Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how we can export DXF, PDF, DWG and various file formats that we will process further on the Potworks to get machined on the Shabbat and as you can see this nice wonderful design here has been offered by designer Phil uh, he's a grad student at SF State just looks wonderful all the details are ready so far and we're gonna hide some of the part because as you can see this side and this side is pretty much same in this tutorial we're just gonna learn about how to prepare the drawing for the sides uh, the center part it's curved and it's going all over it requires an unfolding and it will be covered in future tutorials so what am I going to do here first is I'm going to hide the parts that I'm not going to deal with. There are plenty of different parts here. As you can see, I'm hiding them all. I'm also going to hide this inner part. So now as you can see, there is one line here. This is the groove to fit this part inside. So I'm... Um, I just draw the line and offset it a little bit so that I can free fill in the groove. Perfect. Now to prepare a drawing file uh, from the SolidWorks drawing, you need to go to File and look for Make Drawings from Part. This dialog uh, will allow you to convert your drawings. Into, uh, so you can write your 3D models into the drawings. Let's do that. It's a standard sheet size. If any of your uh, design fits the standard sheet size, is A0, A1 is all international paper size. I go for it. Uh, in in our, my case, I don't think it's going to fit in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do 8 feet by 4 feet because I know that's the size this design will fit in. So I'm here and I'm going to just drag this front thing here. Now once I drag it here, as you can see, it's just trying to give me this isometric side and front views. I don't want that. So what am I going to do? Because the command is currently active, I'm going to hit the escape button. Escape button on the keyboard, which will complete the command because I only want the front view. And as you can see, it's 8 feet by 4 feet, but this object is smaller. If I click on this orange lines out here, as you can see, this it opens up a drawing view dialog box here. If I go further down here, as you can see, the scale here. I'm going to put the use custom scale, group 1, rest 1, and that makes it quite a big, pretty much to the scale that it was made in. I'm gonna keep the projected. Uh, projected in a true, a true sounds true, but I had some issues uh, in the dimensions when I used the true. But if you guys feel comfortable, please go for it. I'm gonna keep projected here, and I'm gonna use high quality. I'm gonna check yes. Once this is done. As you can see, it gave me this little line, exactly what I wanted for the grooves, and this other details here. Now, say for example, you're here, you imported something wrong, and you want to go back to the import panel, which is right here. It's a view palette. You open it, and then you can again access it. It's this part of the view palette above the appearance and scenes, and you can drag anything that you want from here to here. I already have that, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, well, I just want to delete it. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say delete. Perfect. Now, so far, these details are here and I want it exactly the way I, uh, you see here. I'm going to go file. And now it's time to save it as uh, PDF, DXF, or DWG, whatever you guys feel comfortable with. So go to save as. It's under file and save as. You can see it save as type. This DRW is like the default SolidWorks drawing format. 
and that you can use a DXF, DWG, Adobe Illustrator, or PDF. You can try, I'm not sure if EPS is there. No, it's not here. All right, you can try PDF. Uh, I have seen sometimes there are small little issues with DXF, but so far it works perfect. Um, but I, the PDF works perfect for me all the time, so I'm gonna go save it as a PDF. And this options button here, to make sure you do the highest resolution, just in case. It's, I'm using 600, the highest it can provide. And I'm gonna say okay. And I'm gonna say save it. Uh, perfect, I'm gonna PDF. And that's done so far. If you wanna save this drawing file, which we prepared in SolidWorks, we can save it as a file and just regular save. And what it's going to bring up is file documents, just save all. This is going to SolidWorks drawing. It's already been saved. That's why it's just giving me this prompt message. But you can save that as well. But the format for that is going to be SolidWorks DRW, SolidWorks drawing. And that's pretty much. Alright, that's concluded the tutorial, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach me. Thank you for watching.